you know that more than 50% of the people in this country alone have pets? Dogs, cats, birds, gerbils. I love saying gerbils. Hi, I'm Bruce Blitz, and welcome to Cartooning with Blitz. People love their animals. And today, that's what we'll be doing, drawing cartoon animals. Now, for our feature of the day, we'll be going on location to Bush Gardens and seeing the animals up close. And did you ever hear it said that people look like their pets, or pets look like their people? I don't know which one it is. Take a look at this guy and his pet bulldog. We'll be doing one of these look-alike sketches later on in the show. And for our doodle trick, animal alphabet tunes. Stay tuned for that. So first, let's get started. And let's draw our first animal, which will be in the barnyard. And that will be a cow. And that's a very easy one to do. Starts with a shape like this. And then an oval right over here. And a couple circles, one here, one there. Now for the eyes, let's have two circles again next to each other real close. And let's cut those circles right in half so the eyelids are at half mast. And then the eyes are inside. And big old eyelashes for this cow. And little horns for the cow. And big floppy ears. That's a great character so far. Put her tongue out, like that. Now let's define that shape that we started a little bit. And let's give her some bones back there. Come around. And for the legs, well, make real funny cartoonified legs. And here's the udder, which is easy to draw, utterly easy to draw. And the front legs, I couldn't resist saying that. So sue me. What can I say? Here's the front legs. And cows have bells around the neck usually on the farm. So let's draw that. And a tail. The tail goes up like this, wavy line. And then come back, go over the same wavy line. And at the end, looks like a paintbrush. And let's put her in a farm setting. Now let's go back in and use our color tuning pencils and give her some brown areas, big spots like that. And some red for her tongue. And some green. Use chalk for the bottom for the green here. And that's it for the cow. So I'll say sirloin. Take it easy. Okay, let's move on. And let's do a brontosaurus. A dinosaur. Everybody's favorite. Everybody loves dinosaurs. Okay, we'll start with an egg shape. Sirloin. Oh, you heard that. Okay. We'll start with an egg shape like this. Of course, the dinosaur came from an egg, so we'll start with an egg. And then it goes, we'll make a big, long neck like this, like an S-curve. And we'll come around this way. We'll make an oval. And let's put his feet in. And we'll have him walking and give him real cartoonified feet. And there's the front, the other leg, which is back. And his big, massive body will be casting a shadow on that back leg. So let's do that like that. And his back leg will be doing the opposite of the other front leg. Like, see? Front leg's back. This one's going this way. And then it looks like he's walking. Same thing back here. We'll darken that one in now. His tail. His tail will come all the way around. And we'll have it on the other side. And back. And his body's blocking it, so it's being overlapped by his body. Let's define that shape we started in, started with over here. And let's see. Let's darken that line in. Now for his face. Well, I would say he's a friendly guy because they didn't need people. Well, we're no people, but they didn't need like meat wasn't fierce like T-Rex. They ate plants. They were plant eaters, so let's put some plants coming out of his mouth. And let's darken that in. Let's put a mountain in the back. Now let's color him in. It came out great. And let's use a, a blue. Now watch this. I'm going to lean in on one side and get a nice gradated tone. There's a good word for you which means it gradually gets 
a little lighter as you go. Let's do it down here too. And it leaves a, a lighter value in the center, giving the illusion of roundness. See how that works? Put some color in his feet and his tail back here and his neck. Face. Now we need some green for his food. All right. That's it for the dinosaur. Now let's do a couple quickies. A couple quickies for slow animals. We'll do a snail and a tortoise. Okay. Now, very simple to do. Here's how you draw a snail. A swirly. It's almost done. And you come up over here, and they have those like points, and I give them a kind of a silly face. Of course, he goes very slow, and looking at us with a little smile. And they're kind of like jelly underneath the, the shell part, so we'll make like bubbles. And there he is. Slither, slither. Little lines here making like he's not going much faster than a little slither here and there. Now let's do another slow animal, a tortoise. I have a question to ask you. If a tortoise, let's first do the shell. If a tortoise and a snail had a race, who would win? Well, the answer is, who cares? Who can wait that long? Let's put some detail on the shell here. And some legs coming out. And the other one's back here. And that's darkened in because the body's covering it. Same thing as the dinosaur. Make it opposite. And his head is coming out this side right here. And he's got a silly expression on, kind of a expression that he doesn't care how long it takes to get there. Eyelids are half masked, looking at us. Even a smile like that. Let's put a shadow under this guy. And we need some green for him. Just like this. All right. Now I said we would do a sketch of animals that look like people and people look like animals. I got one for you. A man and his pet. A strange pet, but people have them. First, we'll start with a circle, like this, and a nose that comes out and comes around, and a smile. And this is going to be the man. And some funny hairs up here, some funny hairs back there, and here's his neck. Now, here's his pet. You'll tell me when you recognize it. Circle, and a long beak. That's right. It's a duck. Some funny hairs. And there it is. Chuck and duck. Okay, don't put your pens and pencils down, because we'll go on location for the feature of the day. Now, for our feature of the day, we'll go to Bush Gardens, where we had a great time. We'll take a look at the animals there. We'll come back here to draw them. Well, we're here at beautiful Bush Gardens in Tampa, Florida, and it's a gorgeous day. And Bush Gardens is a great place. They've got entertainment, they've got uh, food, and they've got rides, and a great array of exotic animals. And as I said, we're going to draw some animals from live subjects, and we're here now with Kendall. Hi, Kendall. Hi. And show us this beautiful animal here. This is JJ. JJ is an African serval cat. A serval cat? Now, is a serval cat anything like the cat I have at home? Kind of when it comes to sleeping. They like to sleep a lot, uh, they but they're sleep. not related. Not related? No. It's its own breed, huh? Yes. Okay, and what about those beautiful big ears? Servals are known for their hearing. Okay. So they have excellent hearing, so if they hear a bug underground, what they do is dig it up. Oh, hear. I see. Okay, and what is their primary function? Do they do anything special? Well, they're known for their leaping ability. They, they leap, huh? They leap very high. They leap for joy, huh? Yes, lots. Okay, well, thank you very much. You know what? Let's go back to the studio and let's draw this great subject. Okay, let's draw that serval. 
Now, she said it wasn't related to the cat, the house cat, but it sure looks like one, so we're going to make it look a little bit like that one. So start with a football shape like that. We'll start on this side of the page, because we're going to leave this side for the action pose. We're going to have it leaping, because she said that they're great leapers, great jumpers. Out of that point, we make a smile going that way, and one going that way. And some whiskers. Okay, now for the eyes. Very sly eyes. Cats have sly eyes. And we'll have it looking at us. And you notice when you draw eyes, whether it be cartoon eyes like this or human eyes, that most of the circle is showing, but some of it is tucked underneath the eyelids. See that? You don't see that. It's underneath. And heavy eyelids. Let's give it some darkness there. And okay, now for the ears. The serval had very, very large ears. So we'll do that, and then we'll double them like this, and this is the inside part. So we'll darken that in by making some lines like that, indicates like a shadow. Okay, now for the fun part, we'll put the body in. Now, we're going to have the arms reaching forward. So we'll have the arm like this, and coming up like that, and the paw. Coming back, and then we put some fur like that. Put the other arm, which is a little bit behind, so you just have to really double that line a little bit. Now, from here, we're going to arch the back, a long, graceful body like that, and big muscles for the back legs, because they can jump so good. And around like this, and up, and around. And the other leg, just like that, we're doubling that line, and put the tail up, wave it around a little bit, and some cartoon effects and accessories. Boom. Sproing. How about a sound effect? I like that one. Sproing. That's a good one for a jump. Now let's have jumping. Hopefully not off this cliff. How's that? Now let's go back and let's put some color in it. I'll use my color tuning pencils for that. A little bit of orange. Seemed like it had spots. Almost like a leopard, but... And stripes. It had stripes on its tail. And some marks up there. And there it is. Let's go back and see what else we have on the Cartoon Safari. Well, we're here at the meerkat colony. Now, that's meerkat, but it's not related to cats at all. It's actually related to the mongoose family, even though they look a little bit like prairie dogs. And I'm told that they dig and dig and dig. That's all they do is dig. And they dig for um, insects, which is what they eat. And I'm told that they're very sociable animals, too. Uh, not to the insects, but to each other. And uh, you know what? It makes a great subject. So let's go back to the studio and enjoy these cute little guys. These really were great little guys. Very cute. Let's draw them right now. And it starts with a square shape for the head. Just like that. Now this side here, I'm not going to close it up because we're going to draw his face here. And it's just a line like that and up. And a little smile. And this is where his nose goes. I'm going to square that off a little bit. And the eyes. If you noticed, the meerkat's eyes were very big and black. And it had a white spot in the center for a very big shine it had because the eyes were so big. And we'll darken all that in. They were such cute critters, I'll tell you. And they did look like prairie dogs. Let's give my eyebrows up. And let me see. Some fur on the top. A little funny hair coming out. Now on the side, it looked like they're wearing earmuffs. They had these like little black things coming out. And they had little puffy cheeks. So we're going to round out that side like that. There you go. Now for the body. Now the body almost looks like a bottle shape. Watch this. Like a bottle of soda or something. Or even like a guitar, I guess you could say that is. And now we'll put his arms in. Now if you notice, he always looked like he was begging. So he'll put his little claws in like that. And his arm comes up around there. Same thing on this side. Down and up. Cute, huh? And let's put some fur down here. Now for the feet, they kind of came out like that. And there's his little toes. Pretty cute little animal. I got to tell you, they were really cute. And there's the meerkat. Let's color him in with a little chalk. Sort of a brown color. Notice I only color in the one side because we want to leave a little 
light effect on the right. That way it looks like the sun is hitting it from that side. And that's it. Let's go back to Bush Gardens and see what else we've got. Hi again, and I'd like to introduce Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Bruce. And we've got something real special for you. Take a look at this. Little kangaroo. This is Baloo. She is a western gray kangaroo. Yeah. And she's two and a half she's years two and a half. old. Now, how big will she get? She is nearly full size. She's going to grow about eight more inches and gain about 20 pounds. Okay. And she's got she's the one with the pouch, right? Exactly. The females in kangaroos are they are marsupials, and she has a pouch, okay. which is where the baby grows when it's first born. Now, what about that long tail? What's that good for? Well, the help? tail is very long. They actually use it as a fifth limb, mm -hmm. and she can support her entire body weight on the last six inches of her tail. That's amazing. You know, as a cartoonist, this is a great subject with those long, big feet, and we'll have a lot of fun with this one. We really can have a lot of fun with this guy. And we'll start with a shape like a teardrop, because they were very large on the bottom, and they kind of tapered up to a very skinny little neck. So if you've got that shape, you've got it started. A circle and an oval for the face. And let's concentrate on the face right now. A little bit like the giraffe, a kangaroo has eyes a little bit like that. Very soft eyes, very friendly, even long eyelashes like that. And the nose is a V. And let's double this part a little bit and give him a cute smile. They were so cute, so friendly, and we had so much fun with them. Big floppy ears. And for the legs, I mean, they're great jumpers. And they have great muscles down there. And long, floppy feet. And that's what makes them a great character. And we'll do that on this side as well. Look at those long feet. And his back tail, his tail is like, well, she said it was almost like a third leg. Because it can support the whole body. So let's have it all the way back there like that. Let's put some shadows in. And his arms, very small in comparison to everything else. It almost looks like it's begging too, like the meerkat. And all these animals love to, you know, eat. You can feed them all day long and they'll just keep taking it. And this animal was on television, been on uh, all kinds of television shows, so let's make her a star, or him a star. Actually, it was a boy and a girl there that day. Give him a spotlight. Well, let's add some color to this. Great character. We'll use a little bit of gray. And we'll go right down this, this side here. Shade him in. A little bit on the side of his face, down his tail. And for the spotlight, I think it's important to put a little bit of yellow. Now watch how this comes together. Just come radiating lines like this. Look how nice that works. Looks like he's under a sun lamp. I know you'll enjoy this next animal. We're back, and we're with Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Who's your friend? This is Tank. Tank is a parrot, right? Tank is a parrot. He is a green wing macaw from mm -hmm. South America. He's one of the largest types of parrots. Oh, a beautiful animal. Uh, what is with that beak? The beak is very strong. He can actually put a thousand pounds of pressure per square inch. Good. Enough said. That's right. <laughs> anyway, I've got a real neat doodle trick to show you on how to draw a parrot. Let's do that one. Mm -hmm. Now, we have a whole section on doodle tricks, but this doodle trick is great for the parrot. Now, watch. P is for parrot. So, if you can write the letter P, you've got it made in the shade. Watch this. That's his beak. That's his nostril. Let's draw his eye. And let's draw us a parrot. Real stylized parrot. Here's his back feathers. Here's his little feet. And some wings. And some hair going this way. And there it is. Let's put some red in this parrot. See how easy it is with a doodle trick? Numbers and letters into finished cartoons. That's what the definition of a doodle trick is. Anybody can do it. Most of the drawing is already done simply by writing the number or letter. 
Let's go back on safari now. They started walking into the store. And... Oh, well, as you can see, I've gone ape over our cartooning safari, and I hope you have too. And if you're ever in the neighborhood of Tampa, Florida, do yourself a favor and stop into Bush Gardens. You'll love it. Next up, cartoon doodle tricks. Now, for today's cartoon doodle trick, we'll be doing animal alphabet tunes in keeping with our show's theme. And I had some friends stop by, and uh, they always love when I draw cartoon doodle tricks. How are you doing, guys? Good. Okay, let's get started with our first one, and we'll start with the letter W. Okay, now W is a good one. And we can draw a quickie out of this one. Now, I won't tell you what it is. You'll tell me. Put a U-shape right there, and some eyes, and some eyebrows down, and a sinister smile, just like that. And we put some horns up here. And you don't know what it is yet, but when I do this, who knows what it is? I know what it is. What is it? It's a bat. It's a bat. That's right. Okay, let's do another one. And this time we'll do one with uh, the letter the letter S. And S stands for swan. So we'll draw a swan out of the letter S. Now we look at it and say, well, this part here, well, that could be the neck. A graceful neck. And we'll just put the swan's face right here. And come back over that line and make it real nice and graceful. And in the back here, we'll put some tail feathers and the body and some wings and some on this side. And don't forget his eye and some water. And that's a good one. I really like that one. Like that one? Yeah. Okay, let's do another one. And this time, we'll do the letter R. And R is for rabbit. And we'll start here. Now, right about here, we'll put a cartoon bubble nose. And we'll fill that in. And an eye. And eyebrows up. And a big old smile right here and some whiskers. Doesn't look like a rabbit yet, does it? But if we do this, it becomes a rabbit. And we'll put his front arms in and his back legs. And let's not forget, fluffy tail. And there it is. How about a sound effect? Hop. Hip. Hop. There it is. Like that? Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for today, and I hope you've enjoyed it, and you at home. And for our Blitz tip today, i got a good one for you. You've all heard, have a nice day, right? Mm -hmm. Well, in cartoon world, we say, have an iced A. <laughs> huh? Oh, good. Okay. I'm Bruce Blitz saying thanks for being with me and help me out, guys. Keep, Keep on cartooning. cartooning.